Good morning, friends. Today is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Do you remember what month it is? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November. You're right. November, November, December, these are the months of the year. Good job. So it's Friday, November. What number is this? Can you tell me what number that is? Six, you're right. Let's count to six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Six. Friday, November sixth, two thousand twenty. What's the weather like today? Take a look out the window. I see some clouds. I see a little bit of sunshine too, though. So I think today is partly cloudy. Does anyone remember what season it is? Is it summer? Spring? Winter? Fall. You're right. It's fall. And how are we feeling today? Does anyone feel mad today? I don't. Does anyone feel really excited today? Maybe. Does anyone feel a little meh? Maybe a little tired today? I, I feel a little bit tired today. That's how I feel. Just a little sleepy. It's okay to feel sleepy sometimes, right? How about the weather? Let's take our arrow and point to the weather. What's the weather like today? Is it hot out? No. Maybe a little bit warm. I don't know. I think it's a little bit chilly out there still. So let's say it's mild today. It's not quite cold, but it's not warm either. It's mild. I'd wear a jacket outside today. Well, happy Friday. I hope you guys are ready for a fun day. Can you guys tell me what we've been learning about this week? Did you say? Community helpers. You're right. Good job. We've been learning about community helpers all week. And today is Friday, our last day of the school week. Oh, what do I hear? What is that? It's our community helper van carrying a whole bunch of community helpers. Can you guys name some of these community helpers? Who is this? Our firefighter who fights fires. That's right. All right, who's this next person getting off the community helper van? A veterinarian who takes care of our animals. Do you guys have animals? I have two of them. All right, who's the next person leaving? The mail carrier. I bet you'll be seeing a lot more mail carriers now that it's the holiday season. Who is this? A police officer, you're right. And we have, we learned about this person just yesterday. A dentist, you're right. A nurse, good job. Oh. Who is that? A teacher. A farmer. And our last person on the bus. A doctor. Let me guess who we're going to be learning about today. That's right. 
are doctors. Well, friends, since we're learning about doctors today, have you ever been to the doctor? You have? What do they do to you at the doctor's office? They check your eyes. They check your ears to make sure you can hear. They check inside your mouth, right? They check your tongue. They can look down in your throat to see how your throat is. They check your heart. That's right, they use a stethoscope to check your heart to make sure it's beating right. They check on the front and in the back, and they can check your lungs to hear how you're breathing. Hmm, what else can they do with the doctor sometimes? Have any of you ever broken a bone? You know what your bones are? They're in your body, right? I, you have some, they're all through your body. They're in your hands, in your head, in your shoulders, in your knees, your toes. They're all through you. What do the bones do? Give your body structure and support. Because if not, I'll show you science fact right now. Let's pretend this glove is our skin and our muscles. Guess what? It's floppy. Do you know why? There's no bones in it. So I have five straws here. These straws are going to be our bones. We're going to put them inside our glove to give it some support. There's one finger. Oh, we got one finger up. Well, here comes a thumb. There's your thumb. What's next? Let's see. Oh, my straw's bending. There we go. Our pointer finger. middle finger, our ring finger, and finally, our pinky. So there's all our bones. Let's give it a high five. High five. Good job. So your bones keep your hand upright, right? And your whole body. And there's joints in them so that you can bend your fingers. See how we can bend our fingers? Can you bend yours? Good job. All right, one more high five. We're gonna put our hand away. Well, I have a fun story for you to listen to. It's about Pete the Kitty, and guess what? Guess where he's going? Did you guess the doctor? You're right. So this is Pete the Kitty's very, very first trip to the doctor. Do you remember your first trip to the doctor? Were you a little nervous? Maybe a little bit scared? Well, Pete's a little bit scared, but should he be scared? Goodness, no. <laughs> Let's listen to Pete the Kitty Goes to the Doctor. Welcome to Sean Story. Story time videos for kids every day of the week. Today's story is Pete the Kitty Goes to the Doctor by James Dean. Pete the Kitty wakes up. It is time to go to school. Pete stretches his arms. He stretches his legs. Ouch! Pete's belly hurts. Pete calls his dad. My belly does not feel groovy, he says. Pete's dad feels his head. You do not have a fever, dad says. You just need some rest. Dad tucks Pete back into his bed. Dad kisses Pete's head. Pete pulls up his covers. He thinks he will have a cool day at home. Pete starts to play with his trains. Then Pete starts to paint a picture. It 
It is time to get dressed, Dad says. It is time to go to the doctor. Pete does not want to go to the doctor. Pete is scared of the doctor. Dad says, the doctor is cool. She is not scary. Dad takes Pete to the doctor's office. They wait their turn. The waiting room is fun. Pete gets to play with lots of far out toys. The nurse comes for Pete. She takes him to another room. The nurse checks for a fever. The doctor comes in. She checks Pete's ears. She checks Pete's eyes. The doctor feels Pete's tummy. She listens to Pete's heart. The doctor even lets Pete listen to her heart. Don't worry, the doctor says. It is just a bellyache. The doctor gives Pete a cool sticker. She tells Pete the rest. Dad takes Pete home. Dad lets Pete rest in bed. Pete will feel better soon. Dad was right. The doctor was not scary. She was nice. Pete feels better. Soon, he will be back to his groovy self again. Did you guys like that story? It was a pretty good one. Should Pete have been scared to go to see the doctor? No. Did he like the doctor? Yeah, he thought she was pretty cool. And he got a sticker. Some of you just told me that you got stickers too when you saw the doctor. That's great. Well, I have a fun song for us to sing. I have a video to go with it. Can you guess what song we're going to sing? It's about one, two, three, four, five little creatures who were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped their head. So, are you ready to listen to five little monkeys? like you had a lot of fun dancing to that. That's one of your favorite songs, I know. You always sing it in class. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you had a great day and have a great weekend, okay? Bye-bye.